Alright, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to go over everything that has happened in the past uh, last week up till today. Uh, everything in the Gears Esports scene and the Gears of War like, series itself. So first things first, uh, the Challenger series. Um, as you can see here in the bracket, uh, Kenny's team, which is called Defiance. If you don't know Kenny, he's like a multi-time champion in gears of war and multiple titles um did not play in this challengers mainly because he doesn't really have to um they won the other three and this was this is the very last one team rdmk won the final one so it put him in a very good spot um for the pool play uh in the future as you can see here, Defiance, Kenny Bounce, Sells, Lava Toady, they will be in Pool A, RDMK will be in Pool B, Ambush, which is Arter, Bodies, Dementives, and Multi City will be in Pool C, and Tapia Yukis, or Yakis, um, they will be in Pool D. Now this team is fortunate and lucky because mc uh let's see how far they went um two one so i'm assuming it went down to the oh yeah it went down to the wire and then when that happened something happened with gary and they couldn't play so you never know they might have still lost the series but <coughs> That's a huge one because then they play uh, Ambush, which, you know, all they have to do is beat this team and Ambush and make it to the finals. They don't even have to beat RDMK, uh, which I think MC probably would. This is a pretty strong team. Um, but, uh, yeah, they would have maybe potentially had that fourth spot. Um, but... <laughs> Yeah, these are the teams that automatically qualify for the pool play in the, the spring major. I'm pretty sure it's what it's called, the spring major. Um, and I think these two teams here will take those final two spots in the open brag unless there's some teams, some top players that are, you know, going to play and compete and, you know, smoke all these guys you never know um you could see that our flames team didn't make it all former professionals um you might see the team with javon on it or hunting season that might qualify you got a furnace faint emery that could qualify um let me find javon's team that yeah, so this team here could potentially make it as well. But Almighty's for sure not playing, so I don't know who the fourth would be. But that that's potential there. Uh, for the Phoenix Rising, there's been an update. Rebel obviously beat Rebel Ladies. And then PK beat Defiance. I um, don't remember it being on stream. It was supposed to be streamed well with the Rebel uh, and Rebel Ladies. Uh, I expect something to happen this week for these games, uh, PK versus Queso, and E United vs Rebel. I'm expecting an E United and PK final. Um, moving on, let's see here. Gears of War tweets, doing some old tweets again. Uh, the Will Smith meme. I say Gears 5, Gears of War, literally any other map. Blood Drive, Gridlock, Clock Tower, Checkout. Makes sense, because they always bring those maps back. Uh, an announcement with Hive. Uh, I'm coaching the roster. You got Rocky, Red, Pushies, and Zoom. Uh, pretty cool art right there from whoever created that. Um, see who 
Oh, they didn't put his name. Would would like to see that some recognition of um, who actually created that, but it is what it is. Satrex, um, so sorry, bro, but you are not professional. I don't know what this was all about, but maybe it was against Body's team. So something that happened there with scrims. Uh, King A B King A B Z former. Uh, he's a content creator that. He, does gear stuff he said got a question for you gears fam fortnite no building being a, a success made me wonder can gears learn from it by removing wall canceling to make it more accessible um i think so um but um i think the biggest thing for me is i don't know you could agree or disagree with me is uh once you touch that cover once you're about to up a, you know, it should take some some time to do so. It shouldn't be instant rap shot. Like that's like one of the most important things they need to fix, in my opinion. <clears throat> um, some nice, you know, cool uh, gears are from this guy. He created his own little fashion thing to be like Gary Carmine. Uh, boss man, um, he has some UE tournament, there's been a lots of UE hype, um, I'm definitely enjoying the game more than Gears 5, to be honest, um, just got on Gears 5 to play a little bit, and I instantly already want to get off, um, I feel like the style of the game, like, UE is definitely not perfect, the boom shot is dookie, um, the the point blanks are kind of shit in this game, but I would I would like. Obviously, we never had a consistent shotgun, but if we had the movement like that in that game, where if you're gonna be on the cover, it takes some time, so you can't like rap shot someone or outplay them because of the momentum of the speed of you moving forward and stuff. But yeah, um. You guys could sign up. Just personally DM him. Uh, I'll put his at like link in the description down below. Um, and play with your friends. It's just for fun. Um, it's great that he's doing this. So we all appreciate what he's doing. Uh, moving on, uh, we have Jalad here, uh, accusing one of my teammates of being racist or something or or calling his girlfriend a so-called slut um definitely not gonna play the whole video but he was definitely getting accused red nine which he was not the one doing it i'm pretty sure it was other people but i did not hear my teammates uh name saying anything except for he's not saying any of those things and he's not tucking shit and waiting for the major because that's what matters the most right because everyone's disrespecting uh hive because we don't have a team uh halo has an announcement kenny bounce is the head coach of torrent halo so big announcement there man kenny is making moves Identifs made a tweet. Okay, he deleted it. Rocky defending his teammate. This whole clip doesn't involve my teammate Red Nine. He didn't laugh nor say anything to you or about your girlfriend. The only thing he said throughout this whole clip was, "Who was talking shit?" Somebody was talking shit in English. Those were his exact words. So keep him out of it. Great uh, teammate there from Rocky supporting his teammate. Uh, let's see here. We got a Vexies and a clip from Lineup last week's Pro League. Gets one. Oh my god. Oh my god, Sleeper. Enjoy the free haircut. A Vexies will be here all night. Tries to land some splash damage. It's a body. For the shotgun kill. A triple kill for a Vexies. Back A. I guess he didn't hit the full spread. He hit some of that. That's a solid three piece. 
uh, our very own Zoom on Hive getting eSwap Pro Controller of the day. Uh, oh my god. And this is, this is just outsmarting your, your opponents. Zoom pushes up, but is he going to just run right through Smokes? Well, not so much as oh Smokes my finds goodness. back even, finds back even harder, and he's going to show a little bit of love before he takes some down, and honestly, he has every right to do so. That was 100%. a big round for Zoom. 100%. Eswap X Pro Controller Play of the Day. Honestly, I feel like if these pros definitely uh, make it to one of these, they deserve one of those controllers, so you know. E-Swap, if you, uh, or should I say TMT Thruster Master, you're watching this video, give my man a controller. Um, Taylor Noble, tonight's Gears Esports Pro League was the craziest night I've ever been a part of. So on Wednesday, literally any team that you expected to win did not win. Um, it was wild. I think, like, Abuelos beat, um... KCP, F1 beat Rebel, um, Castle Papel beat us. It, it was wild, like nothing that you had ever thought of. Uh, Astros Major won on Saturday. It happened if you didn't get those skins. It's unfortunate. Um, Aftermath, some cool Gears art right there. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, Powers wants to go to the finals. Bad. So this was in E days semifinals. Oh what? Flex right before our very eyes. He swung that from left to right. West coast to east coast. Goes downtown yet again, and he lands another body shot. So far, three for three when it comes to big sniper plays, and he gets the A's. Powers shuts down the entirety of the pioneers for a round victory. So nice little clip from him. What do we got here? United well, booked their KCP spot in the finals. Away from doing so. He trusts the TJ by himself, rightfully so. He goes in, he gets one, back and oh, forth, leaving in and out. He gets two. If your handles, you're like, dyslexic. man, and you get that kill at least. No respect on over to KCP, who does that exact thing every single time to their opponents. Demise at United, they get that final hill. They put the final nail in the coffin. They take the round, it's over. they take the map, and they take the series. Are looking to I feel like there's something internally going on on Pioneers now. Gotta be. Um, oh my, United clutch up. Get my point. TJ, big two shots. Now here comes the revive. Here comes the player into the hill. They get the decap. Two come through. Need one more. That's gonna shut the door. E United. They go up <laughs> four to two and stand on the doorstep of a two-one map lead, baby. Second Gotta love up. Colin, man. Gotta love Colin. Uh. United, you're back to back E Days champs, so they won back to back. We'll see who wins uh, next. He's gonna get a good connection with the torque, but now he's gonna double back. There's another player that he has to deal with. He's gonna get a connection on the inside. He gets the fourth. Does he get the fourth? Oh, he gets the fourth. Ladies and gentlemen, with those kills, powers. Oh, taking a picture. Oh, and they will do so by beating Rise three to one. Oh. Goes in, gets the Elam, gets the win. This is eight. That was picture perfect and picture perfect indeed. After losing the first map, E United climb back, assert their dominance, and take the series three to one. Colin, would you say that's impressive, or do you already have your E United hat on? I don't have my E United hat on. It Let's see the stats. Vexies was getting dunked on. Enzim was being a teammate. Rashi's was shooting everything he can. Same with Detox. Um, damn, Demise. He was down there as well. But at least he was shooting for his teammates. You could see with 15 assists. Um, this held his own. TJ doing a little bit of everything. And then Powers and just it's, uh, right there doing it all. It so it's that just says it all right there. Um, a little troll tweet. This was on April Fool's. We bag details soon on COD, Halo, CSGO, Gal, Dota, Smash, LOL, Tony Hawk on a have T 
2 are all on console, even the PC games. <laughs> that was funny. Um, here's Bossman again. Here are the settings for the tournament. Best of three, double elimination, first of five rounds, round, time limit, five minutes, bleed out, 20 seconds, friendly fire on, weapon respawn, after pickup, active reload, enabled, maps to be used, canals, clock, gridlock, fuel, mansion, war machine, weapon swaps, hammer dawn to boom, bull talk to hammer, so, there's another thing for you guys, if you want to see, uh, Sleefer got, um astro batter astro battles player of the week i forgot about this one this was the the big upset here uh team queso beating rise uh, let's see what it says here um team queso has put the league on notice with this week's performance sleefer is standing tall and standing out leading the eight seed to a win over the number one Consistent shot making and even better execution is their perfect formula for an explosion. So there you guys go. Um, yes, please. Coalition Community Gears. Gears are currently holding an attorney for money that requires people to play Gears 3. You need this fix ASAP. So there's that. Um, here are the players that are playing in the UE tournament. So we got Sammy. Got Hydro, Phelpsy, Craze, Krim, got Zorkos, Cougars, Jack, Reaction, Dark Frag. You got Dead Eyes playing. You got Bodies, Brutes, Killer Sounds, Sinuates. Um, oh my god, Wes H? I remember this guy. He used to dunk on that guy all the time, and he's playing with these guys, um, which is crazy. You got the LATAM team playing. Uh, who else? Paranormal Exceedings, Death Wish Prismatic. You got Praise, Zyshow, Powers, A-Cells playing. You got Toby Campbell playing. Uh, Caster for Gears and from the EU side of thing. You got Team Queso playing. Minus someone, right? No, that's the whole Team Queso roster. You got Toy playing, pretty uh, nasty with the sniper. You got the Gringos playing, um, and yeah, that's pretty insane. Some well-known names. Um, there's still some spots still left. Uh, he he also said on the third, if it once it reaches 32 teams, that um, it's completely done. No more sign-ups. So as I'm recording this video, there. <laughs> is that many spots left um in the 2v2 major which i'll put the link in the description down below um we had can i full bracket we had some upsets um a vexy's loss to dark um dark god don't know who that is but that's a big upset because Avexis won the the playoffs one um, not the major um, occurs. He beat um, bodies, which is a big upset um, by occurs. So another challenger player. Um, bodies plays top four, or top three, or something like that in the last one v one playoffs. Let's take a look. Uh, Eagle Chow, which is TJ, beat crystallized and Sleefer. Then detox and then went on to beat Gary in the semifinals, right? And then he lost. Wait, no. E who, who's Eagle Chow? Force one. Oh, A cells lost to TJ. Okay, okay. So there's that. Um, what else we got here? B God lost to these these nuts. Who is these nuts? So he lost to someone I've never heard of. Um, who's Greg? Um, I'm assuming Rocky didn't play. Uh, Logie beat him and then Greg, whoever Greg is. Um, don't know who that is, to be honest. <coughs> um, 
that is wild like this side of the bracket like if you were here like who 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 played here you had handles and spine okay so handles lost to dark as well and dark beat a vexy so this man beating people up wow you gotta tip it to dark man he beat some notable people i'll put it in the link description down below of that bracket so you guys could see for yourself pioneers hosting a 2v2 thing uh april 7 team lock so we got two more days as i'm recording this video uh single elimination 2v2 control best of one um was it introducing pioneers gears proving grounds um don't know if you win any money or not so i don't know about that one but it's up there if you want to compete um you got intelligent here posting a ue clip remember guys a lot of, a lot of people are playing ue now Oh my god, tells you moving like that, what? That's that, that's that alternate movement, oh baby, holy shit. That's Big Tilly, and you can see I'm playing there as well. That's Big Tilly. Um, follow, nothing has ever felt or looked so right. We retweet. If you would support a throwback Gears Land tourney on this gal put together by Guy, Blaze, and I. So potentially after probably um, the Gears 5 whole season's over. So probably after the summer they'll probably do some like grassroots uh, tournament for UE on land. Uh, we got a clip from Raiden as well on UE. I remember watching this one. He won V3s. So I think someone definitely trolled, tried to chainsaw him though. Yeah, see, people are trolling. Intelligence trying to back him with a sniper. Look, he has a sniper out. This guy has a chain. Yeah, this was like probably Kyle's easiest 1v3 of all time. This guy has him like full red, like what the fuck, like my teammates just fought this guy, like <laughs> Toy definitely got sold right there. Uh, King ABZ posting this in the chat, pretty cool concept art. Logie here uh, during his challengers tournament, uh, this is pretty disgusting, not gonna lie. Mmm. Damn. Absolutely insane. Uh, some more boss man stuff. Him confirming. Uh, we got go be beyond the omens. So you got the crack in here. You got the carmines. You got Oscar, Reyna, Mira. Some cool concept art right there. Uh, what is it? Affinity. Uh, UE tournament with a revised map pool and settings would be so fun. Maybe the start of the return uh, to grassroot gears. What map settings are you thinking of that differ from what we played in UE Pro League? Also, would you form a team and come out, out for it? So, a former professional uh, Affinity now. Um, if he coaches rise um he might come out to play that or help set up everything so that's nice to see uh coalition uh announced something here uh the game industry needs more people like you so they're mentoring more people uh into game development and role uh what is this the xbox mentoring program is live now find out more about new innovation and register for your shot at one-on-one -on -one session with a game 
gaming role model okay uh well with week three of the gears pro league in the books it's time to share the top five plays so three of our players actually made it in here so let's take a watch at this Look, they don't see Bushy's coming on the six o'clock. Bushy gets a free body shot, turns and burns on the secondary shot. So one of the M bars is gone. Bar. Miss roll causes a secondary death, and now, now, but if he did, that's vital information to pass on over. Nice shot from Rocky. That's going to kill Solfus. He'll pull out the Nasher, but he's getting angled out. He's forced to back away and puts himself in really the firing lane, but Pushy's handles it quite well. He gets the pickup and then immediately kills Not Claw to give Hive a definitive control. And Rocky, while it was worth it to get him back into the fight, beautiful two piece. Go for a quick little retake here. 60 seconds left on the hill. Raver gets a kill, but a cell dances right back on the monkeys. Now Raver looking through the smoke. Gets, them off, gets the one onto his cell. Now we'll give her a third on the handles. He's just below the stairwell. Handles bounces in. Gets tagged. Three in a row. Raver. No. That's four. Gets, that is the play of the day. Focus in the player inside jail. It's a good angle there towards the mid pillar. No one able to face aim down, face aim off that pillar, but he overstayed his welcome there. And now his teammates are going down. You see the presence in the lane coming out here from Adverse. x Wise gets four. Yeah. Take it out. Exploits. He'll get three. The numbers still heavily in favor of Casa de Papel. Zoom gets one. Damage onto another player. Trying to force them to split up into two different cases. Oh. He does it. Zoom does it. He gets another backtrack. He got a big kill on the knock claw. Bring a 3v1 into a 1v1. Could be a big moment for High. This whole oh, realm no. that's, uh, you know, they were in a bit of a disadvantage. Zoom pushes up, but is he going to just run right through smokes? Well, not so that's much. That's freaking big zoom. Big zoom. big zoom. big zoom. Big zoom. All right, so there's that. Um, Some notes on the whole new Unreal Engine 5 here. So I'm just going to open it up here for you guys to read. You can pause the, the screen, whatever you want. Um, some interesting points here. <coughs> and we're going to watch this video that they brought up. Um, saying it right now, if it gets muted or something, because the whole copyright bullcrap, whatever, on YouTube. So let's watch it. We've been working with Unreal Engine 5 for over a year now, and we've already seen a lot of the benefits. Our relationship with Epic uh, has really impacted positively the Gears of War franchise, whether it's collaboration or calls about various systems or contributing code. We've been creating numerous prototypes and demos, and we're happy to show you uh, some of the results today. What you're seeing now is our Alpha Point demo. It was an early access demo that we showed at GDC in 2021. There are a few different components, an abbreviated character cinematic, and a early large world technical test. The open world tech test was built to test a few things. It was built to test the landscape system. How does it react with Nanite? Um, how does world partition streaming function? And how do these all come together and perform on Xbox? So MetaHumans came out about halfway through our character rendering visual tech test demo. And so we immediately sort of stopped what we were doing for a bit, took a look at MetaHumans and wanted to see how it could augment our existing character that we were building. And so we pulled things like materials from MetaHumans and eyeballs and teeth and bring it all together and just see what level of fidelity we could hit, throwing all the latest tech in Unreal Engine 5 at it. This cinematic demo brings the character quality of the new rendering systems, the environment technologies, the new Lumen rendering system, all together to create a real-time cinematic experience that goes beyond anything that we've done in the past. I'm personally very proud of them. They were all sort of labors of love for myself and the art team and engineering teams and really opened our eyes towards what the next gen quality visual bar could be. And so it was a huge learning experience for us. And I think it actually set us up really well when Epic came and asked for help on the Matrix Awakens demo. The fact that we were able to ship 
this experience on Xbox Series S with all the same features, including ray tracing, that we had on the Xbox Series X at such a high quality level is really amazing. With the launch of Unreal Engine 5, what I'm most excited for is the developer efficiency that we have for our team. We really are able to deliver a AAA experience that we've always wanted to without the compromises. Hell yeah! Unreal Engine 5, I feel like, is a huge game changer, and I feel like we haven't fully even realized how much of a game changer it's going to be. It basically, um, democratizes game development across the world. And yes, there's accelerations for AAA developers like ourselves, but it also um, is a great uh, entry point for indie dev studios. And so I think it furthers along Unreal Engine 4's vision of everyone can build a project and, and build a game. And I think it's gonna change the entire industry. So we got some ideas of what, you know, Gear 6 could potentially look like. Um, they did say that they were using this engine, um, testing things out. Obviously, you know, they had the Matrix thing there, the, the video that you saw there. Um, we could potentially see, you know, uh, Marcus Phoenix collection with this Unreal 5 engine. Um, if you guys don't uh, remember in the the quotes there ABZ was showing off is that how easy it was to transition from one game to another <coughs> super easy on the engine uh, something like two weeks or something so we have potential of getting this uh, so-called the Master Chief collection but it's called we have it called like Marcus Phoenix collection on its way um, but that's about it um tune into pro league it's live right now before i upload this video so hope you guys enjoy and uh peace